Hello everyone. In my last video, I have shown you how to get the number of words exist in a sentence. And in this video, I am going to show you how to get the last word of the sentence using array concept. And I am going to use a length property in arrays. Okay. So before going to this, you need to understand what is array variable. So array variable is a type of variable which enables you to store multiple values of same type data. Okay. So this is employee names is a array variable and it stores all the names of employees and it can't store any salary or age in this array okay so similarly for employee salary it is a array variable and it is storing the salary of all the employees okay so with the help of this index number we can access this value and we can write them okay for example index of 0 contains the value john and similarly index of 2 contains the value steve so in our task, I am going to get this last word of this sentence. So this is a sentence I am going to give in my EAPA studio. So if you want to get any word from the sentence, um, for example, if you want to get this first word in a sentence, you can easily get because index starts from 0, you can easily identify that this index of this uh, value is index of 0. Okay. But it is little difficult to find this last word of the sentence and you can't uh, count manually. So to get this last word of the sentence, we can use the property called length in arrays concept. Okay. So go to our UI studio. First, I will take assign activity into our designer panel and I will create a variable to store the sentence. So using control plus K. And I will name this variable as sentence. And I will give the value in this value field. Within quotations, I will copy the value or the sentence from my document. Control C and I am going to paste it within quotations. Let me open this in advanced editor. So this is a sentence which I have given in this sentence variable. Okay. So change this variable type to string. So it is now string only. So let it be string. And now I am going to use one more assign activity to split the strings. So to split the sentence. Okay. I am going to split this sentence into strings, array of strings. So I am going to create a variable and I will name it as after split. So this variable stores the sentence after splitting means it is uh, an array of strings. Okay. So I am going to use a split method. First I will pass the sentence variable dot split method. So the split method is used to, it will split the given sentence into smaller parts and source it in an array of strings. Okay. So in this I need to pass separator. For our sentence I am giving the separator as space and now it is within the quotation so it is a string we need to convert it to character. So just type C beside this quotation, C is nothing but character, okay. And now, most important thing is we need to change its variable type to array of strings. Okay, now I am going to use a right line activity to display the length of the string and a variable name after split dot length and I will convert this to string. So that's it. Let me run this process. So look at this output panel. Uh, number of uh, words exists in this sentence is 40. So the number of words in this sentence is 
40. So now we need to get how to get the last word of the sentence using that length property is. And click on this plus, I will use assign activity to store the length of the string. I create a variable and then name it as length. So let me use this array variable name after split dot and use length property and change this variable type to integer. So length will show you a numerical value. So I will use right line activity to display the last word of the sentence. Within quotations, the last word of sentence is concatenate with the black let me expand in advance this text after split array variable after split and instead of giving index I will give the index as length So length is a variable name which I have created in this assign activity to get the length of the uh, given sentence and minus 1. So 40 minus 1, it means it give the index of the last word. So that's it and let me run this process. So look at this output panel and the last word of the sentence is intervention. Okay, so the length is 40 and we have given the index as length minus 1. It means the index of this intervention is 39. Okay? So because the length uh, index starts from 0, when you count from here, where it will come to 39, the index, uh, the index of this word comes to 39. Okay. So look at this last word of the sentence is intervention. Okay. So this is how to get the last word of the sentence in a path using RS concept. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and like.